on Mornings on 2. There's a new health concern tonight involving condoms. California health officials say certain condoms may not prevent transmission of HIV and sexually transmitted diseases. The condoms in question use a specific spermicide, and at least one Bay Area manufacturer says he plans to destroy the potentially damaging condoms as a result. Channel 2's Julie Hainer is in our newsroom with details. Julie. Dennis, the next time you go to the drugstore to buy condoms, health officials say there are certain types you should avoid. Here's what to look for. Products that contain the spermicide Nanoxinil 9 or N9. For years, the ingredient was believed to inhibit the transmission of sexually transmitted diseases and HIV. But now, new research shows instead of protecting you, N9 could actually do more harm than good. Sadly, we now know that instead of preventing infection, N9 actually increases the risk of contracting HIV. A coalition of California lawmakers and health officials gathered in Sacramento to issue a warning to consumers. Officials say a third of all condoms sold in the United States contain Nanoxinil 9, which is actually a chemical disinfectant commonly found in detergents. N9 damages the internal surfaces of the body and provides infectious organisms direct access to the bloodstream. Now, lawmakers and health officials are calling for changes. They're urging the Food and Drug Administration to ban the use of the common spermicide in condoms. By marketing this product, the kind of manufacturers are harming uh, people and uh, increasing their risk of being infected with HIV. We feel that public health experts uh, such as the CDC and WHO and doctors and scientists around the world who have called for the discontinuation of product with minoxyl 9 have a little bit more information than the general consumers. So the consumers don't know about these risks and the manufacturers we believe are preying upon uninformed consumers. David Mayer owns Mayer Laboratories, a condom manufacturing and distributing company in Oakland. He says growing concerns and evidence about the negative effects of condoms made with spermicide have his company taking action. Mayer Laboratories is now pulling all N9 condoms off the market and is halting the use of the dangerous chemical in all of its products. And Mayer says he's challenging his competitors to do the same. But so far, no one's listening. The spermicidally lubricated condom market in drugstores represents about $50 million in annual sales. The three major condom companies split that up, and what they're afraid of is if one of them discontinues it, then the two remaining will increase their market share by getting the sales from the other. Health officials want to remind people that condoms do not contain that do not contain nanoxinil 9 are still a highly effective form of contraception and an important part of practicing safer sex. Despite the new research, the three largest condom makers continue to use N9 in their products. Trojan Condoms released a statement saying that warning consumers about the spermicide will only confuse people and potentially reduce condom use. Reporting live in the newsroom, Julie Hayner, KTVU, Channel 2 News.